yeah, us bikers, we do cook, we do eat, we do bake, we just don't ride. But uh, yesterday I unboxed one of my new mixers that came in. It's like going from a moped to a Harley, you know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> I bought the Breville, the Scraper Mix Pro. We're going to see how it handles the dough, how it uh, holds up. And uh, I'll show you my first ingredients on this simple bread I'm going to make. I'm going to make a simple bread for you all. Check it out. You're going to need one and a half cups of water, half a cup of milk, three tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, three tablespoons of butter. I use unsalted butter. And two tablespoons of dry active yeast. I use the jar yeast. That's equivalent to two packets of yeast that you can purchase in the store. Also going to use approximately four to five cups of flour. Now, here's the Breville mixer that I purchased. I like the uh, stuff that it has on it. It has a timer and a clock setting. It also comes with these readings on here for your speeds. You have a pause button or a pause. You just turn this. When you turn it, she operates. And then it also has a fold and a knead. It has a light mix, a cream beat, and also an aerate whip. Nice little convenience, you know, let you know where you're at. Comes with a five quart bowl that locks into place. Real simple. Comes out. Real easy. Nice. Goes right up in here. You slide it in. And it just locks right in place for you. Got a nice dough mix, mixer, heavy duty. Uh, I just got done heating up my milk. I'm going to add my sugar. I'm going to add the salt. And I'm going to put in my butter. You want it all to dissolve. And you don't want it too hot. The milk being warm will dissolve it all. If not, you can reheat it up. I heat it up in the microwave. We're going to mix it up here. Let it... It's starting to melt down now. And while that's melting down... I'm going to heat up my one and a half cups of water. You don't want you don't want your water to be boiling. They say around 105, 110. I check it with my finger for as warm as it would be that you would feed a kid a bottle. And if you haven't fed a kid a bottle, just warm enough like you're in the shower, not too hot. Because if it's too hot, then the yeast you kill the yeast. So the water's heating up. This is dissolving. The butter's melting. I'm gonna stir it up good. Get everything in there. You don't want to put your salt over top of your yeast. You put your salt over top of your yeast, then you're gonna kill that too. That you don't want to do. So I like to incorporate everything in here so that the yeast and the salt doesn't get crazy. Alright, I got my water. My water's all nice. It's warm now. It's perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add it in to my mixing bowl. Try to move the camera here so you guys can see what I got going on. So I'm going to add the water. I'm going to add the yeast. And then I'm going to put 
a cup of flour, all-purpose flour. You can use bread flour. I have bread flour too that I use with some other breads that I make. So I'm going to start this off with a cup of flour. And then I'm going to drop her down, got a little button here that slides her down, and I'm going to start it off slow. Just to get it all mixing together. I'm going to add another cup of flour. So that's about two cups of flour. And then I'm going to add my melted liquid with the sugar, salt, butter, and milk. And I'm going to let it mix a little bit more. Alright, it was only mixing for a few minutes. Now I make four cups of flour. And I'm telling you, bread is so simple to make. The dough is so easy to make. <laughs> you can do this by hand if you don't have a mixer. But uh, I'm going to tell you, there's nothing like having fresh home bread, homemade bread. Nice little crisp on the outside, soft on the inside. No preservatives, none of that garbage you got in the supermarket. All right, we're going with cup number five. You can see the dough is starting to take pl take place. Yeah, it's starting to look really good. Ah, oh, can't wait to have some fresh bread. This will make about two loaves of bread. Oh yeah, she's starting to take now. Look at that. So far, the Breville holding up very nice, mixing the dough nice. I don't hear no straining. I'm pretty happy so far with this mixer. First time using it. Probably a little less than half a cup of flour that I just added. So it's five and maybe a quarter. looking really good real nice let me shut it off and show you where I like it yeah it's a little flexible not too sticky it doesn't stick to your hands this is a nice dough real nice dough but I like to let it knead for about five minutes and let it keep going Alright, so now I'm going to put, <laughs> make sure you got a clean table, clean it up, don't, don't admit, put your fresh dough on some dirty ass counter, you don't want that, 
All right, I'm gonna get my dough out now. Beautiful dough. Oh, it's just beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that came out nice. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that, though. Look how she just bounces back. Oh, it's beautiful. So now I'm just going to knead a little bit. Oh, this dough feels beautiful. Nice and smooth. Oh. All right, y'all. So I got me a bowl. And what I'm going to do is I, I'll usually spray it with some Pam olive oil. And then... Uh, put it inside the bowl. I spray the bowl and then I also spray the top of the dough because you don't want the dough to dry out on top. And I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> so my bowl is, is all sprayed. I dropped that little bad, bad boy in there. I spray my, my dough the top of it. Like I said, you don't want it to dry out all right then I'm gonna cover it up with a nice clean towel put it in a warm draft free place and I normally will put it in uh, my closet be honest with you and it works great so I'll, I'll let this rise it'll probably take about 30 minutes to get double the size and then all right y'all thanks back thank you oh look at that beauty she rose double the size now i'm just going to punch it down took about 25 30 minutes for it to rise you don't want it to rise too much because then it won't rise in your um bread pans so I'm going to bring this bad boy out, give it a little bit of a knead real quick. Yeah, we're going to knead this just a little bit, not much. All right. So I'm going to put it back into a ball. Oh, this. This dough is absolutely gorgeous. All right. So we got our little ball shape here. And what I normally do, I don't have a dough cutter or nothing like that. So what I do is I just use my old little cleaver. And I'll split it in half. Some people weigh it out on a scale. That's too much bullshit. I just go ahead and cut it, break it down. Now what you want to do is you want to get it around again. And what I normally will do is I'll roll it out to the size of my bread pan. As you're rolling, just spread it out. Rolls. Oh, this dough is so. Oh, this is going to be some nice bread. Oh, my mouth's watering for it already. Start from the center and push it out. Roll it out. Yeah, that's looking beautiful. And what I do is I'll take my pan, you measure out the side. And I'll stick it in my bread pan. Look at that. Beautiful. So we put it inside. Oh, a little slippery. Put it inside the, because uh, I also spray my pans with um, some of that uh, Pam olive oil. Yep, roll this out. 
You want to roll out some nice to the size that you want of your pan. Don't be afraid to roll it. Oh, look at that. that that's beautiful. Look. Perfect size. I'll scoop it up. I'll put it in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this rise. I'm going to cover these both back up. And I'm going to let them rise till they get a little bit over the pan. In the meantime, I'm going to preheat my oven. And now, you see how simple it is to make bread. Enjoy. Have a great day. Yeah, y'all. Check it out. Look how beautiful that bread rose in my bread pans. Now it's about time. I'm going to put her in the oven. I'm going to put it in at 400 for about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to drop it down to about 30, about 350 after about 15 minutes. And uh, let her cook for another 20 minutes after that. Well, y'all, hope you enjoyed this. We'll see what she looks like when they come out. Now we're done. The bread's finished. Oh my God, it looks absolutely amazing. Look at this bread. Thanks. Hey y'all, Tank here down in Florida. Hope you enjoyed making the bread the easy way. Doesn't take anything fancy or any type of special ingredients. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe below. Leave your comments. Until the next time. Peace.